to the Not So Crafty Sisters. So today we are going to be doing a baking video. We are making the ultimate pumpkin scones. Um, we make these around the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas and like the fall season. Yeah. So this is a video on how to make them if you ever want to make them yourselves. They are so good, so definitely recommend to try and make them for your family. Yeah. Okay guys, so we are gonna be telling you the ingredients in this recipe. So we are doubling the recipe, and at the very end of this video, we are gonna be putting in what the regular recipe is with like the regular measurements. Yeah. So the first ingredient, these are the dry ingredients, is flour. For this, we need six cups of it, half white flour, and half whole wheat flour. You can use just one or the other, but we recommend using two kinds because it's really good with that. Yeah. Next, we need sugar. Oh, um, we sugar. need one and one third cups of sugar for this recipe. But again, this is what we are doing. We're doubling the recipe, but at the end of this video, we're gonna be doing the normal recipe with, with the, the normal, normal measurements. measurements. Next, we need one and a half teaspoons of salt. We have a little salt container. We need ground ginger. You can use ginger or ground ginger. We typically use ground ginger. And we need two fourth teaspoons. Next, we need baking powder. And we need two tablespoons of that. Make sure to not get this mixed up with the next ingredient. Yeah. The next ingredient is baking soda, which you need two teaspoons of. So it's Again, definitely Again, do not get this mixed up. Because this is what makes it rise and puffy. So um, if you add too much of it, then it will make it really puffy. Next, we need nutmeg. So we need two fourth teaspoons nutmeg, just like the ground ginger. And then we also need cinnamon, which we need one teaspoon of. And then the, that's all the dry ingredients. Wet ingredients, we need two eggs. We need one and one half cup of buttermilk, which is milk with lemon in it, lemon juice. In you have it. to let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. And you need two to two and a half cups of pumpkin. So we use we eat this pumpkin. Stuff. Um, this can be for babies if you have babies. You can or you can just pumpkin. eat it yourself if you're a teenager. Or like us, like just kids. We <laughs> eat it. It's um, so good. Yeah, so we need two or two to two and a half cups of pumpkin. And to mix in with the dry ingredients, we need a whole stick of butter. And we need to cube it. Yes. But I love this. So the first step to making these pumpkin scones is to mix all of the dry ingredients together. Plus some butter. Yes. So um, we are going to use this big bowl to mix all of our dry ingredients in together. we measured and mixed each ingredient so now it's time to add the butter we have all of our butter cubed up here you want to cube it up yes and so now you're going to mix that into it so we will show you it and guys if you are trying to make these at home yes if you are trying to make these at home please do not melt this or mix it until these are fully gone because that's not yeah that's not right you want it to kind of it's kind of like melting it in the oven. Yeah. Kind of, you want to stir it until you make sure some are at the bottom and some are at the top. Just get it covered in all these ingredients. Yeah. So never mind about the leaving them in cubes. You do want to kind of mash them 
up a little bit so that they're a little bit more broken down and so that every scone gets a little piece of butter in it. But you do not want to melt it and pour it in because then that will be considered a wet ingredient. And this is, right now, it's considered a dry ingredient. Yeah, we have a special guest. You want to come a special guest? Of course I would. Jingle! He didn't really talk that No. <laughs> so, he no, is. No, no, scoot him over. He needs to. He matters! Up. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so then you wash your hands. And if you have long nails, I would not recommend doing this with your hands because it gets in your nails. And kids, if you are under, a, like maybe under six, seven, eight, eight under eight, I would say to have a parent help you so you know the, you get the recipe right. And especially around like the hot ovens and stuff. Yeah, but since we've had experience with ovens and, and I'm 12 and making this, then we're fluent at it. So, yeah. Okay, so once you combine all the dry ingredients like that, in a separate bowl, you combine the wet ingredients. So, so put this to the side and get another bowl to combine the wet ingredients in. Okay. So we're going to combine the wet ingredients and we'll be back with you in a sec. So we've got our wet ingredients all mixed in, but one thing is when you measure them out and put them in your bowl, you want to use a whisk, not a spoon, because that helps it get better incorporated and mushed down. But we forgot one important thing. That is, once you put them on your tray, you are going to drizzle some sugar. sugar. It's not regular sugar. It's like kind of sprinkly sugar. It looks kind of it's like that. It's so good on it because it adds this little crunch, but it also adds some, a lot of flavor. So after you do this, you will slowly stir this, you pour some in, and you stir it into the huge bowl of dry ingredients. So this might take a while, so we will see you when we are done. we forgot one last thing and that is cinnamon chips and you might be thinking what are cinnamon chips i've heard of chocolate chips and butterscotch chips but i've never ever heard of cinnamon chips well they go great with the scones so we just dump a few in we don't have a certain measurement we just dump them in and they taste delicious once they melt in the oven so we're gonna add these in but just a heads up if you want to put them in Our scones are finally done. This um, is one of the, what the scones look like. They look so They should good. be thin. They shouldn't be like, they should be bumpy. Yeah. And then it looks good with like the little sh bit of sugar on top. Kind of glistens. But, yeah. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of this video. Um, as you heard earlier in the video, we are going to be telling you the normal measurement of all of the ingredients because as you know, we doubled the recipe. So, um, and hope you love how the scones turned out. Yes, they, they are perfect. Yeah, they smell great too. So, the first ingredient, this is the normal recipe, and we'll go slow. So, the first ingredient is three cups of flour. You can use white flour, whole wheat flour, or both. So, we do half and half. Next, we need two-thirds cup of sugar. Next, we need three-fourths teaspoons salt. We need one-fourth teaspoon ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we need one tablespoon baking powder. You need one teaspoon of baking soda. Do not get these mixed up. Yes, I'm learning. Do not get these mixed up. We need one fourth teaspoon nutmeg. 
and we need a half of a teaspoon cinnamon. Um, and you need four tablespoons of cold butter to mix in with the dry ingredients. For the, okay. For the wet ingredients, you need one egg. You need one to one and a half cup pumpkin. And you need three fourths cup buttermilk. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that is the normal measurement. And please subscribe, like, and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any videos. And if we get these this video to 30 likes, we will do another baking video with you guys so you and can learn more baking. And at the and at the very end of this video, we will add the directions of how to make them. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Okay, so you guys saw those wonderful scones, but now we're going to share the ingredients of the normal recipe with the normal measurements. So we will go slow. So first you need three cups of flour. You can use whole wheat flour, white flour, or... Oh, white. I grabbed the wrong thing. <laughs> she grabbed flour and sugar. The scones are finally done. They smell so good. Yeah, so if you're wondering, this is one of our, oh, 